guys, I have the cutest little Christmas home decor DIY piece for you to make to make with you today. Come along and check it out. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. Come check out today's video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Check out some of my previous videos and let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget, I try and link what I used in the comments below, and I'll link as much as possible. If I can't link exactly what I used, I'll link something as close as I can get. Here we go. Here is my background that I'm going to use. I just went ahead and made it a buffalo check. Now we're going to use some of the green jingle bells. These are from just the Dollar Tree and I have the large and the small. So now we just got to figure out what works best. So I just want to play around and figure out the shape that I want. I haven't completely decided if I want like a tree or a wreath or what exactly. So here I'm just playing and figuring out what I want and what I like best. After trying the tree and the wreath, with incorporating the different sizes of jingle bells, I decided I wanted to go with a tree. So, here we go! So while the hot glue warms up, I'm just going to go ahead and start positioning them so I have a better idea of where they're going to go once my hot glue is good to go. I like that placement. I'm going to take them one by one and put some hot glue on and put them right back down. If you're worried about this stain or you want to use it multiple years, I would definitely advise probably using a little bit more of a sturdy glue just because the hot glue will pop off of a glass piece a little easier than E6000 or something like that. So as I've been working on this, I've been finding it easier to start on the outside, or sorry, the inside and work my way to the outside so that it doesn't get all wonky or off center. And they kind of fit nicely in between other jingle bells. So that is what I'm trying to stick to. Okay, now we just got to finish it up with the trunk and we'll be all good to go. So what I was going to do is use some sticks from outside, but as I was getting ready to go grab them, I found this little piece that I had pulled off from one of the pumpkins during the fall time. So I actually, it was from that video where I did the Christmas present and Merry Christmas on the other side. And so I'm going to go ahead and just glue that down. I'm not going to repaint it because bark is all sorts of different colors and shades and chippy and this is what I'm going to put on. I chose the green because I thought it looked really good against the black and white and I thought it would stand out a little bit better. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put it back in the frame. Okay, so that was my glass piece, and so I'm going to go ahead and put it in first, but then I'm going to make sure I put everything that was in it behind it. And that is just because I want there to be that depth and that cushion so it's not wiggling too much. Close it. Oh, I forgot the actual stand frame part. <laughs> Now we got everything. So just close it on down. And now reveal. So this is really nice because it still has the stand in the back so you can go ahead and set it up someplace like on a shelf or a counter or something. You could also hang it with your little hanging piece at the top. So it could go on the wall or wherever it works best with your Christmas decor. This has to be one of my favorite Christmas decor pieces I've created. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching with me, and I can't wait to do another craft next week. Bye-bye!